Hello and welcome back to the City Skyline series where today we're going to be making a dockyard. Uh, we're going to be making kind of a big cargo hub area um, consisting of the docks and uh, we're going to intertwine this with a lot of the rail network so that we can send cargo out to other areas of the city and to, you know, internationally um, across the nation, sorry, uh, through these of the train tracks. Um, this is kind of the first episode in this series where I've kind of done industry detailing. Um, I really enjoy industry detailing. I just haven't managed to get around to any yet. Uh, it does kind of let, it is quite a bit different from what I re regularly do. And there are a ton of really, really cool assets out there on the workshop. So um, it's really enjoyable. Um, and it, yeah, as I said, it is quite different as well. So. Uh, I kind of had to sh change gears in this one and kind of rethink how to do some detailing because there's a lot of empty area in industry areas so that so I had to try and figure out how to fill those and make them look good and kind of crack on from there. Um, if you um, if you're new to my channel, uh, I mainly do cities videos. If you want to check any uh, any of my other ones out, that'd be great. Um, if you're a regular, welcome back, um, and if you haven't subscribed, uh, it'd really help me out if you did. Um, if you enjoy this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't really enjoy it, give it a thumbs down and leave feedback as to why in the comments below. Um, that, again, that would also really help me out so I know how to improve going forward. And um, let's just get into the time lapse. So we're just going to start with some terraforming. Uh, I picked the location of the harbour. It's just kind of upstream from the main downtown area. Uh, I wanted it a bit out of the way and I didn't want the ships to kind of like go through the main river around my downtown area because I thought having cargo ships go past would kind of ruin the aesthetic a fair bit. Um, and I didn't just want a flat square dock so that's why I added this kind of little peninsula area that kind of juts out um, halfway through. I thought that would look a bit more interesting than just having a flat square. Um, and then I, after I terraformed it out, I let the sim run and oh man, the water just went everywhere. Um, because it all flooded into that area, it took away from the river and then eventually when it started to go back into the river, um, the line of the river went a lot higher. So it uh, flooded my entire downtown area as well, which is quite far downstream really. Um, so I did all that off camera and then I just did a time jump because <laughs> uh, I didn't think you'd want to see that. Um, and now I'm just kind of like laying out the roads. Uh, I wanted this all to be a one-way system because traffic on cargo hubs tends to get really, really heavy very quickly. Um, so I just want this one flowing area that kind of flowing system that goes all the way through um, so uh, you just get in and out um, not not oh no it's not particularly quickly you get in and out but it keeps the traffic smooth and it doesn't cause any issues um, and it did end up turning out quite well actually um, the traffic flow by the end uh, once I let the sim run for a little while um, I wasn't actually noticing too many issues uh, so I kind of took that as a win. Uh, I'm putting down like the container area. Um, you always get these in dockyards. And there's this really good asset on the store um, done by a guy called VIP, I think. It's his kind of harbor asset pack. Um, a really good um, asset, especially for what I was trying to get done here. I've used it previously, actually. I used it on the, the series that I did like three years ago. Um, so I just kind of went back to that and looked up which asset I used because I remember really liking it back then and it is just as good now. Um, and then I kind of added some big industrial car parks in to, um, for all the workers to park up at. Um, so the way I'm going to do these docks is I'm going to have three. So this is going to be the main one here um, that I'm currently creating. And then I'm going to have one that is more of an older, um, kind of a legacy one, uh, that is also that is still functional, but it, it, was, it was the first dock that was built, so it's not quite up to date. It's going to have like maybe a, an abandoned factory in it. It's going to have some big warehouses, so it's just for storage, really. It's not going to be the main, uh, the main focal point. 
Um, and then I'm going to do a third one, which is going to be one that's currently under construction. So um, it will be the big one eventually, but uh, right now, you know, it's just basically a big pile of mud and dirt and there's not much going on with it. But I thought it'd really add to the industry aesthetic of like, hey, loads of stuff still going on because, you know, this is industry and it's constantly expanding and um, I that's kind of the aesthetic I wanted to go for there. Um, and yeah, so with all these uh, cargo areas, the train line is going to be very important to them. Um, they're kind of all a uh, mixture of uh, shipping com ships coming in and then instantly getting put onto train transport because um, that's the most beneficial way to get the cargo out. It also helps alleviate some of the traffic. Um, so that's why I use these, the cargo hubs. I found one, the asset I'm using is called the double cargo hub on the store. Um, I'll put it in the mod list and link it in the description below. Um, but basically it's, it's, it's very similar to the regular cargo hub on, um, from the vanilla, from the base game. But it has, it has two ports on it, so one is for ships coming in and one is for ships going out so it, it creates quite a nice flow um, it keeps the ships moving and it also has a railway line to connect to so your trains can get in and out fairly easily I also found these uh, really cool old looking warehouses they're called a New England warehouse um, the ones that are just on along the side of the road there on the left uh, they're really cool they look like what you kind of find in more like I suppose no, I was gonna say more American dockyards like older buildings, but you get kind of similar buildings in the UK as well um, So I just added a few of those in to, so that's where all the management would go and where the workers would clock in clock out and take their breaks and so on and so forth um, Yeah, uh, and then it was just about detailing really so uh, I added in a few more car parks um, a lot of big flat open spaces around so uh, I just thought I'd use any empty area uh, I just kind of like threw a car park in because you kind of expect to see that um, it's also good for like overflow so you know if the containers there's too many containers in the end there's a bit of overflow I know it's a car park and you shouldn't use it for that but the idea here was that it could be a bit dual purpose and uh, yeah, I just used the, the normal car park asset that I use, which is like the car park roads assets, uh, just to fill out those. Uh, and the other, the other thing I wanted to mention that I was doing for this video, I kind of did this one off camera, um, but what I did in the end was I wanted to make a link to where all my under, other industry is, like a road link. Um, there is a motorway connection that goes straight onto the highway, and I've had to make that into a four-way junction because... Um, the motorway goes in the other way as well to connect to where the industry currently is but I did a bypass route um, and I didn't want that bypass route to get too heavily used so I put for the first time I've put a toll booth in my city um, so hopefully that's gonna keep that traffic in check a little bit I don't want it to go crazy with um, how much traffic decides to use that rather than the motorway um, but I did find a really good uh, four-way interchange on the workshop. Um, I was having a lot of trouble coming up with a f good four-way interchange um, that actually made the traffic flow really well. Uh, I did struggle a little bit with that, so I decided to just get one off the workshop. It ended up being much quicker, um, saved me a lot of time. Uh, so yeah, you can kind of see the area I'm doing now is the the under construction area. Um, so I've just added it, I'm just making this a big dirt mound essentially and we're going to have a, a prop ship in there that is constantly moored so that, um, you know, it's just like there's a tester, a bit of a dry dock area um, and then there's just going to be some cranes and lots of big piles of dirt. Uh, the idea is that this area will be kind of like the train cargo storage area so the trains that actually get um, come in to pick up all the stuff uh, they can park up here overnight with their load and they can go out in the morning 
or they can stay here overnight and then in the morning pick the cargo up from the ships and then take them wherever in the country they need to go. Um, so I made just like a, a big dirt area with some dirt um, roads in, uh, some porter cabins used as offices because that's kind of what you get on these like building construction sites. Um, and then I just added these big mounds of dirt and rubble so that kind of looked like something that was currently in the process of being built um, rather than you know it's, it's like the work has just started here rather than it being um, really underway uh, so I, uh, that's why I did on these big cranes and uh, kind of like that I never know what you call those um, I can't remember what you call that asset that it kind of scoops the dirt up so you throw it in the bottom and then it puts it on top of the pile um, I found a really good like industry pack that had all of this stuff in the one pack, so uh, that was really really useful. Um, and then yeah, I've used the. Uh, uh, you can kind of see this is where I'm making the railroads that are just going to be like where the trains stay overnight. Uh, and then I found another really useful prop asset pack that just um, provides you with some trailers that can just be plonked down on some empty rail lines um, uh, kind of give the idea of what I wanted from this. Uh, yeah, so I quite I quite like how the detailing turned out on this one. Uh, I added in these like old abandoned warehouses as well, so it kind of looked like this area is being repurposed rather than built up from scratch. Um, that kind of also leads into why there's so much rubble lying around is because some of the buildings have already been knocked down um, uh, and it's being yeah, again, it's being repurposed rather than built up from you. Um, and then I added in this, this is a dockyard that I think Strict Toaster actually made. Um, it's just a ploppable dock that you can put on. Uh, and you can put down ones that actually fully function as well. Um, but just for now, I wanted the prop one so that I could just add a bit of detail to it. and Because I don't, don't want this area to function quite yet. Um, this is just going to be one for the future. Uh, and then the, for the final area, this is going to be the older um, kind of dockyard area. So it's not really, it's not out of date, but it's not as new and as current as uh, you would expect. Um, it's going to have like some historic buildings and some, some big warehouses I decided would look better here rather than big cargo yards. Um, I quite I wanted an idea of like this is a big warehouse where all the goods kind of get put into and then uh, trucks just constantly come in and out going into these warehouses picking up their loads and then taking them wherever they need to go really um, so that was another that was another part of the harbor asset pack and um, that I found from that VIP person uh, so yeah really really cool um, asset uh recommend that and then I, w I did consider putting more of those abandoned buildings in but i decided this area wouldn't be abandoned it would still be fully functional um i put in one huge abandoned factory at the end of the road but i kind of had that in mind of being like a grade two listed building so they weren't actually allowed to get rid of it um and then i ended i found this pipe network an industry pipe network that looks really really cool actually um, so I added some details from this in um, just kind of like big industry pipelines going up and down uh, carrying um, you know whatever oil water uh, sewage whatever just getting pumped all around this area and um, so because of that I decided to also add in a few little like water pumping stations and water treatment plants um, just to kind of complete the industry feel of the area and um, kind of give it a bit more of a, a busier vibe. You know, I don't want to... I hate leaving empty areas, um, so that's why I put that in there. Uh, and this is the big abandoned factory I was talking about. Uh, I initially wanted it... I thought it looked really cool there, but then the train line was going through it, so I put it right at the end of the road. Um, and it actually has, when you look at it from one angle, you can kind of see the city behind it and it gives you these really nice long shots of the of the city. Um, and it kind of made me realize how far, and you know, this is only the 11th episode, but the city is starting to really take shape now. It's starting to look um, really good, I'd say. Uh, but obviously I would say that as I'm the one who, who made it. Um, 
Yeah, and then just to finish off, I added in these. Uh, they're just bog standard um, like storage units. Uh, I just added these all up and down the uh, the areas between each dock, so that you know each individual uh, company would just hire up these warehouses for use of um, for storage. And uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. I managed to get a lot done. Um, this is just kind of one last shot that goes over the entire thing. You can see the cargo container, the con uh, the construction one, and the old one. And um, so, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying the series so far, uh, subscribe. That really helped me out. Um, and then, please leave any comments in the um, comment section below. What would you like to see me do next? Um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.